Okay, welcome to vlog number one. And I guess I should start off by saying, howdy, be Flo Bart here. And I've had a couple dumbass moments this morning just trying to get set up to, to make this video. First off, after recording the third part, I realized that um, when you're doing it on your phone, you might want to have the, uh, the phone point in the right orientation. And, well, okay, moving on from that, then to start off with the who, what, when, where, and why of me. Uh, who I am, uh, I've, I'm known here as Beefalo Bart. I've been known as Media Man Merlin 1068. I've had many nicknames over the years, but my first name is Steven. It's not as much as I want to give my, my name wise. Um, what I am is just a simple person. You know, I, I like to play video games, I like to go shooting. Um, I just started getting into kayaking, and hopefully I'll have some videos up of that. Um, you know, I'm just a plain, simple, easy-going person. You know, I try to be good to, to most people, and then, you know, some people just don't need to be treated well, you know, but we'll move on from that. Um, when, I guess, to be correct here, um, look at the, uh, the date of the, the video was posted, and that's when it is. Uh, where am I? I'm currently living in Charleston, South Carolina. You know, I've been in and around this area for most of my life. I have lived in Washington State, uh, a little town called Tracington. It's right across the Puget Sound from Seattle. Uh, I've lived in Marietta, Georgia, which is part of Atlanta. Um, and I've lived in and around the, the Charleston area for the majority of the time, though. I was actually born in South Carolina. Um, why am I making this? I don't know. Kind of get over my fear of looking at myself in video and realizing that with this angle on this phone, it just seems to make me look fat. Well, I am kind of fat, but not that fat. Um, yeah, so that's the basics of me. You know, I'll go into a little bit more of my history just so you can learn more about me if you actually care. All right, so moving along. You know, I just want to cover a few things about my history you know that was a band geek all the way from junior high all the way up um, it was fun uh, started off in junior high school actually in an elementary school but we moved and I only got to play the trumpet for about half a year so I really didn't do much with it but I liked it but my junior high school, I went on to the tenor saxophone, which I did like that. Yeah. Um, later on in high school, I ended up changing over to the mellophone and French horn, and that was also fun. Uh, I've been all county, I've been all state, I've been to University of Tennessee for honors band two times, and yeah, it was fun. But after graduation, then just never did anything else with music. In fact, um, ended up being band captain on my senior year, and I really thought I did pretty good back then. It wasn't great, but I thought I did pretty good. You know, in marching band, I ended up meeting a very wonderful woman that I ended up marrying much later on in life, but um, yeah, you know, I always had a thing for her anyway and we just really never did much dating wise then we just ended up getting together and then after a few years of being together yeah, we got married it was it's good while it lasted no regrets i love her um we're not together anymore but still love her she's still a great woman though. all right so yeah but currently, what am I doing? You know, I've got a lot of life experiences, and I'll cover that later. But um, currently, right now, I have lost my job, and it's because I've had to take a lot of time off, and I ended up moving in. This is going to sound corny as hell, but I moved in, and I'm staying with my mother. Uh, and it's not in some weird, pathetic thing. Uh, my mother is getting up in age she's in her she's around 70 
love my mom dear you know she was very near and dear to me um, right after high school my mother and father got divorced and they both remarried and you know the woman that uh, my father married Patty lovely woman love her to death um, the guy that married my mother you know if you had to pick somebody to actually marry your mom I think this is the guy that I would have picked um, he was he was Coast Guard he was uh, a boxer and he's a good Christian man he's always taken very good care of my mother always been there for her for everything treated her with respect bought her a Corvette um, yeah just has been a good man and has taken care of my mom so he deserves to have someone to take care of him and right now he really needs the help um, between lymphoma, bone marrow cancer, um, congestive heart failure, kidney failure and there's a long list and there's many days where he can barely even walk um, he's fallen down a few times and if we're in a game together and I have to just jump up and run and I just stop responding it's probably because he's either fallen or something's happening here and my number one priority is going to be my family which has also led to the reasons why I've lost three jobs now in the last few months I'm going to put family first and if an employer doesn't like it well they can kiss my ass so there's always jobs but you've only got one family take care of them so that's what I'm doing right now I don't have much money to, to speak of so I guess the reason why I'm trying to put some more effort into my YouTube channel is in hopes that I could actually start generating some revenue from it and that will be quite helpful because it's something that I, I enjoy doing and hopefully I can get to where people enjoy watching me I'm not so boring and I, I watch my videos I realize that some of those videos I'm really boring as shit sorry I'm working on it I'm actually a, a funny person I think uh, my mom likes me and that's all that really matters love you mom um, anyway um, we'll move on to my hobbies which hmm, I like to my hobbies I guess you say are video games PC gaming I don't do consoles I've seen a vagina I don't need consoles um, I like shooting I just recently got into kayaking and I like that um, I'm gonna try to put some more videos up or some videos up on kayaking so should be fun uh, gun wise I've got quite a few different guns I don't have all of them handy to where I can just quickly show you but I'll show you a few that are close by let's put it that way um, I guess the, the first one being what my concealed carry is and being that I live in a state where I can conceal carry and I have a concealed carry permit um, my daily carry is a Springfield XDS 45 4 inch barrel bitone with Sugru added to the grip and magazine to give me a little bit better purchase to it. It's small enough and light enough to where I can carry it. And it serves me well. And if I decide I want to carry it whenever I go out on the kayak, I don't have to worry about it getting wet. It's polymer and stainless. It's gonna it's gonna work. It just always works. And it's 45 ACP. So no matter what I shoot in this area, it's gonna stop it. So you know whether it's two legged critters if I have to defend myself against an alligator, no, I'm not going to pursue one. Um, I have something that's going to protect my life. And I know it's going to protect my family as well. Now, wintertime, bulkier clothes, which we don't have much of a wintertime here in South Carolina. But my longtime passion has always been 1911s. Now, this is cocked and locked. It is loaded. This one stays really close by and part of my desk. Um, not sure if you can tell what it says on there, but Lawman. It's a STI Lawman 5.0 Cerakoted OD Green and Black. 
and it is currently loaded with Civil Defense by Liberty. If you don't know about that ammo, you might want to check it out. You don't want to be on the bad end of it. Considering the fact that out of a 1911, which normally is around 900 to around 1,000 feet per second, that projectile is ultra lightweight. I think it's a 78 grain projectile, and it's coming out of the barrel around 1,900 feet per second. Um, pretty nasty. You don't want to be on the wrong end of that. Now, I have some collector's items that I hang on to. Mostly because they mean something family-wise, and this one is no exception. Smith & Wesson, number five. It's getting in pretty bad condition. It has pearl handles. It is empty. I do have ammo for it. It is serviceable, and it will shoot. But I really want to clean it up and get it looking a little bit nicer before I take it to the range and actually put some, some round through it. It deserves a little bit of love and attention. I really would like to get it replated. Not that it has a great huge value, but it means more internally because it came from a good friend of the family. So I want to take care of it and get it restored back to where it's actually nice looking and, and usable. Now, I also like AR-15s. Why? They're cheap. They work. Um, and they're fun. The latest one, and some of you may actually know that I used to work for Palmetto State Armory. So, I have quite a few of the Palmetto State Armory products. I like their products. Um, they're a decent company. I just think that some of the leadership there is a bunch of douchebags but oh well I digress this is 300 blackout as you can tell it is side charging and I really like it the um, the colors not everybody likes the colors on it it's um, Cerakoted the uh, Cerakote work. If you're in the Charleston area, hopefully you know who they are. If not, shame on you. It's uh, Carolina Arms and Ammo. They're in Monk's Corner, near Carnage Crossroads. Um, great, great bunch of guys. I really, I can't say enough good about them. Uh, I don't work for them, uh, but when you go in, they treat you with respect. They know what they're doing. They know what they're selling. They're not trying to bullshit anybody. They're just good people, and they, they run a good business. They don't do a lot of business, but their Cerakote work is really nice. I have no complaints. It is 100% spot-on perfect. I just It's outstanding. Although he did make fun of the fact that I used uh, Woody Green Furniture on the, uh, the tungsten gray, I think, or tungsten silver. I like it. Sorry. But, yeah. I've seen a lot of their work. And if you need to work down around Charleston or just wherever, talk to them. Um, I've got a, a DMR-based AR-15 with a, it's a 18 inch DMR profile with a Jerry Mitchell comp. I've got a, you well, know, just like with the 300 Blackout pistol, I like BSA optics. I'm running the uh, BSA. It's a 8 to 32 by scope with extra heat shields on it. Now, the reason why I have the extra heat shields is if I choose I want to shoot rapid fire, I get a lot of vapor and it helps to actually. cut down on some of that. The accuracy of this rifle is outstanding. With American Eagle 50 grain varmint tips, 
I, I'm averaging under an inch all day long. Three quarters of an inch at 100 yards. I have actually gotten some groups that were under a half inch, but it just depends on my finger that day. The, uh, the trigger is GI. I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, I just love the rifle. It's a really, really accurate rifle. A little noisy, but a lot of fun. Whenever it comes to fun guns, I'm not very tactical anymore. Um, currently, I weigh 281 pounds as of yesterday. Not proud of it, no, but the hell of it, that's me. I will be losing weight. No, you know, well, moving on from that. Being that I'm not tactical anymore, I don't necessarily have to have tactical firepower. I'm not high speed and low drag. I'm low speed and high drag. So, I'm not going to win any fashion contest. I look like a big smurf right now. So, keeping with the smurf theme, I like blue. No, I don't like smurfs. I used to do some competition years ago. I don't do it anymore, although I should. Alrighty, so, yeah, some people are going to find this absolutely hideous, but I like it, it's fun. This is a Springfield XDM, five and a quarter. It has a Barstow barrel, a lot of Springer Precision parts on it. Um, it's got a pistol gear mag funnel. Yes, it's a 170 millimeter extension onto the factory 19 round mags. This brings it up to 26 round capacity. Um, Trigicon knockoff. Long story on that. Um, Trigicon RMO6 knockoff. Works fantastic. Looks fantastic. Mounted up perfectly with Springer Precision mount on the um, on the base. Works great uh, right up until the time I installed it and wrecked the slide a few times, and it never worked since. Uh, I am using a Springer Precision short comp. I use factory loaded ammunition. I don't reload. I've been working in gun shops, so I've always got an employee pricing, so I didn't need to worry about reloading. Um, very, very smooth, very, very stable, very good trigger. Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's a fast shooting gun, and it's a lot of fun to play with. I've got a lot more guns, but a lot of them are either vintage or in repairs, not even started. Um, yeah, we'll cover more guns as needed, but we'll move on from there. I'll go ahead and wrap things up now, but um, I'll try to make more of these vlogs later. So you can kind of get an idea of who I am and, and my thoughts. I mean, I know most people don't really care, but you got to start somewhere. You know, again, with what's been going on in my life, I would really like to put some more effort into my YouTube channel. And hopefully uh, I can get more people to start watching. And who knows? Might be something, might be nothing. But you never know in life until you actually give it a shot. So I would like to give it a shot. While I have a little bit of opportunity to be able to try, I'm going to try. Um, all I can say is good things are coming. And there's going to be a lot of improvements in the channel. I'll try to bring in some people to help me. Um, and I will do everything that I can to try to be more of a presence. I, I want to make sure that people enjoy what they're watching and will, hey, you know, you got to check out this guy's channel. I want people to actually want to come watch my videos. So, I will try to be more funny. Probably won't happen. But I'm going to try. I know you probably can't hear. I know the, um, the audio level is probably a little bit low. And this annoying ceiling fan behind me is well, about to get shot out of the ceiling because it's just creaking. No matter what speed that I put it on, 
and I'm far too lazy to pull it all apart and try to put any grease on it to stop it. So I just let it defeat me like an idiot. So in conclusion, I hope you enjoyed learning a little, a little bit about me and my partial speech impediment. Um, yes, I'm old. I'm bad. I'm not super bright. I'm not stupid. And you can see, I'm absolutely drop dead gorgeous. So, um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. And hopefully you'll turn in and watch some more videos. Thanks.